this stretch doesn't have a lot of bushes. They don't like it so much. <laughs> Today is October 9th. Regular deer season, general deer season they call it, uh, starts tomorrow morning on the 10th. All the trips up here, checking traps, checking trail cameras, <laughs> I have not seen one single deer. It's pretty discouraging actually. I mean, it needs to be a buck. I haven't even seen a doe. No. Not really sure where to go or even if I should go. We did buy our deer tag, so we're going. I just don't know where or I don't have real high hopes of finding anything. I don't know. The, the last few years, quite a few years now, uh, hunting season has been really poor. I mean, we had a couple of years there where we had doe tags and shoot, couldn't even find a doe, let alone a buck. Those white tail tags, that's a little different. We had those lasted for a month, but uh, white tail deer, they're mainly on public or, or private ground. And, I don't like to hunt private ground. We hunt public ground whenever we can. So we probably could have had one if we had gone someplace else. No, so, I don't know. The uh, Idaho's, you know, it's something like three quarters. <laughs> Crazy dog. Where you at, Lily? You're missing out. Here, get up here. Come on. Uh, I know something like three quarters public ground, maybe a little more than that. So I don't ask permission to hunt on other people's places and bother the ranchers. It just doesn't seem right. out there dog. Uh, that's what I was going to say. You know the hunting, back to the hunting, that's what it was. About the only thing I've really seen up here is, is grouse. There's been, been a pretty uh, fair number of those. I missed one on the way in here this morning. But uh, deer and elk, I did get a good one looks like on my trail camera. So that's promising. If he just sticks around, deer or elk, <laughs> they're, they're elk are where they are. They, you can see them on that hillside up there. And they might never be back there in their entire life. So, kind of hard to pattern them at all. Sometimes they will, sometimes they don't. But, uh, wolves get 100% of the blame from this. But it's really not all their fault. They, they started the ball rolling, but if anybody is uh, to blame, it's these pro-wolf pro -wolf, anti-hunting groups that are trying to save the wolves. By saving the wolves, block and management for 15 years. Dog. Block and management for 15 years, all the deer and elk, and especially the moose, really suffered for it. There's not a whole lot of them left anywhere now around here. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm starting to see deer and elk again, calves and cows, calves and fawns. And this year, I've actually had a few moose on my trail cameras. I only saw one, that three legged one in person. But, uh, it probably won't make it through the winter, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah, they're making a comeback. It's just really slow. If we can manage to have a few mild winters, it'll make a lot of difference. But so far, that hasn't happened. It's been pretty rotten winters. Well, I don't know. Wait and see, I guess. I've only 
only seen two camps up here so far this year. Like I can say the season doesn't start till tomorrow, but uh, between the forest fire <laughs> and the lack of game, if I didn't live here, I wouldn't come up here to hunt. Well, so I'm hoping that maybe other people. Oh, well, there's a bungee cord. You know, I haven't bought very many bungee cords in my lifetime. I usually just pick them up off the road like this. And here's one right here. So that will work. Cool. Maybe that's a, a welfare bungee, huh? Oh man, my knees are bad. I can't bend over that far. Cool. Boy, it's a stretchy one. Ah, there we go. That'll keep my my rack I made slid forward. Well, anyway. So anyway. I'm hoping there won't be a lot of hunters up here and maybe after a year or two or three or four <laughs> maybe our hunting will improve a little bit and well I don't know it's not looking too likely it it'll take quite a while for the underbrush to grow back from that fire in places it's gonna take a very long time but uh, once we get a little bit of underbrush the deer and elk Elk they'll eat a little more grass than deer do, but they eat a lot of brush, more so than people think. No, so, anyway, wait and see. They uh, a lot of times, especially when the season opens midweek like this. The tenth is on Tuesday this year, but uh, when it opens midweek like this, a lot of times it's not busy until the first weekend. And then also, uh, our area, they do it kind of strange for the deer and elk. The, the deer opens on the 10th, and the elk, I don't think, open to something like the 15th. And so a lot of people will wait till they can hunt both. 